How do you even spell disagree? <laughs> this, is why I'm not, <laughs> this is why I'm not a broker. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to give us your German passport because this is not okay. You can have this. Okay. Tom Sestito paid the bouncers 2,000 bucks to get him back into the bar. How much does Kiss cost to make? Cause I want to budget this now. <laughs> Who the hell are these two German guys like? And Max is like, we're gonna take over the world. We're gonna win everything. Like everything is ours. And Patrick is, he's like, yeah, you know, this sounds good to me, Max. Let's do <laughs> it. <good>. Like, <laughs> still the same. You know what it takes to sell real estate? The art of putting the deal together. I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this because this is my calling. I believe in it. I love it. Try to master your craft and don't give up. Even if the money's not coming in, just trust the process. Because you're only as good as your team. I learned that the hard way. Half of it is talent. The other half of it is what your people skills are. Welcome back to the show. Today is our Christmas show, so Merry Christmas to everyone. And uh, we are extremely excited to have a dear friend and business partner of ours on the show. He's quite the character, so buckle up. This is going to be our best podcast yet. And make sure to like, like, subscribe. Uh, most of the people that watch the video are not subscribed to the channel, so make sure you subscribe. Turn on the bell thingy that Alan likes so much, so you get notifications for the next videos. And... Uh, we're excited uh, to do this uh, little, in German we would say Weihnachtsfolge, uh, I was in Swedish. Christmas episode. Oh, Jul, 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 uh, Jul program. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So Merry welcome Christmas. to the Jul program. <laughs> uh, so I'm now on today's episode, get ready to laugh your skates off because we've got a guest who's not just a pro in the hockey ring, but also real estate mogul in the making. Uh, you might remember him as a towering Swedish goalkeeper, uh, keeping all the pucks away, doing some amazing saves, and now he's making a name for himself in sunny Arizona in the real estate industry. Uh, he's got a gold medal in one hand, keys to your house in the other hand. Uh, it doesn't get any better. Welcome for all hockey fans and real estate fans, our dear friend. Eddie Lack. There was no way you wrote this. This was too good for you two. <laughs> there, there is zero chance. Thanks, Alan. <laughs> Eddie the Stork. Eddie the Stork. The, the Stork, yes. The stork. yes. Eddie the Stork. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot of nicknames. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to those a little later. <laughs> the Stork. So welcome to the show, uh, Eddie. Uh, thanks for making making time. I think we've, we've wanted to do this uh, for a while now. Well, I'm happy I finally got invited, you know, I feel like I was kind of far down the pecking order, Pretty like uh, you had uh, your favorite Eddie, the Tucson Eddie on the list before me, which kind of still hurts in my heart, but uh, but yeah, happy we can make, make, make it happen, and happy I got a calendar invite from Max to make it happen, and uh, yeah, here we are. Good, good things take time. Oh, 100%. So to start off the episode... Um, we want to start off with something fun, and it's actually going to be Alan taking over. Alan, fire away. What are we doing here? Do I have a whiteboard here? <laughs> Do I have one of them? Oh, my God. Two. Oh, I need one more for Eddie. There we go. The marker right there. Thank you. There we we actually go. didn't discuss what's going to happen now, so let's see. Should be interesting. Um, so basically, the g game is um, agree, to, agree to disagree. So I'm, I'm going to say a statement. You either put agree or disagree. Okay. And then you can talk about it afterwards, whatever you like. All right. So, first statement. American football is better than soccer. Agree or disagree? How do you even spell disagree? <laughs> this, is why I'm not, <laughs> this is why I'm not a broker. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Three boards. D, oh yes. my god, can you please put this on camera? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, I'm going I'm I'm to start over. I'm just going to put a D or an A. <laughs> Cut. Two yeses and one no. Okay. Uh, sweet. I mean, you knew we're going to put, we're going to disagree. <laughs> yeah, but like, why does he agree? Because he's still loyal. Watch it. He's what? Dead. No, I watch, I watch American football. No, he likes soccer. American football better than soccer. Yeah. 
How? I watch it more. I watch it more. I watch I watch Dortmund games and German national soccer games, and that's it. But football, I watch every Sunday and I mean, Thursday and Monday. And yeah, whatever. you're gonna have to give us your German passport because this, <laughs> this is fine. not okay. You can have it. Okay, yeah. You can have it. Yeah. Okay, ready for the next one? Here, Swedish food is better than German food. Agree or disagree? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know what everyone's gonna do, but. <laughs> Three, two, one. Disagree and definitely disagree. And then okay. one agree. Okay, do you want like schnitzel or meatballs? <laughs> like meatballs, obviously top, right? The Italian. What? Meatballs are Italian. Well, he's talking about the Kötbüller. Kötbüller, like yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, oh like my here. God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no way that Swedish food is like good at German. All right. Well, you'll see when you come to my house for Christmas when I have all all Swedish buffet lined up for you guys. Is that an extended yeah. invitation for everyone watching? Uh, <laughs> yes, my address is. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, the next one here. I live in surprise. <laughs> playing golf is more fun than playing hockey. Agree or disagree? Three, two, one. Right now, yes. Agree. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Getting too old for hockey. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So two hip replacements. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It might have something to do with the hips. <laughs> yeah. And it's cold. Pineapple on pizza is disgusting. Agree or disagree? Fucking gross. Three, two, one. All right. Eddie's up. Disagree and one agree. Yeah. yeah. Disagree. So you guys. That means you guys think you just like it. Yeah. Yeah, you can have pineapple on pizza. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like in Sweden, we do everything. I mean, like you have like steak with Bernays sauce on your pizza and like oh, yeah. kebab pizza. Do you yeah. guys have, yeah. have that? Yeah. We even had the yeah. pizza I mean, spaghetti bolognese. It's a pizza. They actually put pasta and bolognese. All right, that, that's a little too much yeah. for me. Let, <laughs> let's not yeah. get carried away. Right. This might be a little interesting. The Swedish accent is the sexiest accent in the world. Agree or disagree? I don't, I don't even know what the Swedish accent sounds like, but three, two, one. Disagree, disagree. Oh. I mean, when Max starts spe speaking his Portuguese or whatever the fu fu fuck it is, I mean, everyone just melts. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, no, it's a uh, Swedish accent is not up there. Just for the record, Eddie is married uh, with a female. So yeah, yeah. Making sure we get this straight here. And we can ask her too. It's not sexy. <laughs> she, she would agree. <laughs> Um, a night out is better than a night in. Agree or disagree? A night out is better than a night in. Three, two, one. I'm so, <laughs> we're all old. We're all, <laughs> we're all so old. I would you say, ask us like three, four years ago, there yeah. would be A um, on here for everyone. <laughs> yeah. It's like good, like a couple times a year, but. And we would have been drunk while doing this podcast. <laughs> yeah. We're just old. Too old. Um, basketball is more enjoyable to watch than hockey. Oh. My God. Stop sucking up to your like clients and shit. All you have. A, A, and one D. Make the case for hockey. Hockey, it's, it's like fast pace, but it's not like 200. Are they going to score? They're not going to score. Like basketball, it's just score after score, in, in my opinion. I think hockey's better live rather than on TV. I agree. No, I actually, I actually awesome. liked hockey in Germany. We did go quite a bit at Cologne, like the yeah. Cologne Sharks. Like that was actually fun. Yeah. Here, I only went once or twice, and it just wasn't quite the same. Maybe well, it's because Arizona's not. Well, a we hockey. actually thought we had a friend who would invite us one day, but uh, until now it hasn't happened yet. Well, I know someone's going to the basketball game tonight, and uh, I am driving home by myself. So after dropping us off. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks for clarifying that. We'll do one last one here. I love working with the person opposite or next to me. Well, it's two different things. Or opposite. Real. Oh, since you guys, since he's a guest, so we do opposite. Just opposite. What? What? I love to work with the person opposite me. I love working with the person opposite me. Agree or disagree? Uh, better be an A or the episode is over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a. There we go. There we go. All right. Is that to wrap for the game?
check the boards back. Otherwise, it, the episode would have been over. <laughs> <laughs> no, I lost the uh, thing. Oh, no. Put it on your tab. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. All right. Are we actually going to get serious now? Okay. Game face. Game face. All right. Well, let's... Uh, Let's start with a little introduction. I'm sure that uh, everyone that, that knows us well uh, has seen you around, either laying on my desk um, or, or on events or deals together. So give, uh, give me everyone a little introduction and background uh, about yourself. Uh, born and raised, obviously, in Sweden. Uh, started playing hockey when I was six years old, uh, when Sweden won the Olympics. Beat Canada, suck at Canada uh, in a shootout, uh, and um, was fortunate enough to be able to come come over here and play professional hockey. Uh, I came over here when I was 21, I think. Uh, moved to Winnipeg, which which for you guys don't know, the nickname is Winterpeg because it is freezing cold. First thing I bought was a Canada Goose uh, jacket that's good to like minus 60, so I was fine. Um, and uh, yeah, played a little bit um, in Canada, US, Canada, US, uh, before I decided to move my family here. We bought a house over FaceTime, the first house we bought here. Uh, I knew like one person when I moved here uh, and, uh, and uh, decided since real estate is such uh, a relationship driven business and I didn't know a single person person that it would be a good business for me to get into. <laughs> well, that obviously sounds very familiar to the story of Patrick and myself. Um, and, and just because we kind of share the same, uh, let's say, European, European background, how was it growing up in Europe? And what do, you, what do you think are the biggest differences between now living here, raising your family, working here, and back home? Very curious about that one because... Uh, <laughs> You know, we, we obviously have our opinion on that too. Yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 fu funny because uh, my wife is from Chicago and like the way that I grew up, I mean, like I lived like three kilometers from, from like school, but I walked there with my friends like and and like it wasn't a big deal. Like we, we like stopped on the way home to someone's um grandma for like cakes and everything on the way back home from like school and everything and i compare it to like here because back home we trust everyone right <laughs> like like i trust you until you prove to me that i can't tr trust you anymore and like here it's a complete opposite right like like i don't trust you until you prove to me that i can right so uh, just like a very different mentality like my mom rented out her like place here the, the this last uh, winter and like they left all personal items like bikes for like thousands and thousands of dollars and everything and they're like yeah we just met these guys but they seem nice so we're just gonna leave everything right <laughs> so just like a uh, just like a completely different mentality. Like I trust everyone and my wife trusts no one. And now we kind of met in the middle, I felt like, but yeah. yeah that's very true. I, f I feel like it's the same in, in like, people here don't understand that, you know, 10 year old kids walk to school, like, you know, two miles. And yeah. like you said, you, you just randomly stop in or you like, you take a detour, grab a pizza on the way home. Yeah. And <laughs> it's like normal in here. It's like, you know, you have to like sign in to pick up your son and sign out and, have to wait like it's just very very different uh lifestyle i guess right but then there's also obviously a lot of positives right as far as on the business side and everything because we always get the question if we could have done what we did here back home in germany and we say absolutely not so no. how do you think you would have developed is that how you say it like how, how how do you think you would have done in sweden as a business person you know now yeah, yeah. In the, I in mean, the real, in the real estate space. Uh, I don't think I would have done real estate back home. Uh, like we, our family owns some hotels and stuff, so that's probably what I would have done. I probably would have helped 
manage the hotels and everything. Uh, real estate is just so different back home too, because like you only have a seller's agent, you don't have a buyer's agent, and then it's kind of like an auction online where where like the prospective buyers like sign up to this website and everything Goodness. and then like they like bid and like you like see what everyone else bids and everything and 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 like then then once you get the highest bid the the seller gets to choose if like he wants to take that offer or like he can just say like no and put it back on the market and with like another deadline whatever so it's just just like so different and it's so much harder to make money back home than what it is it is here with with like taxes and the way that everyone is paid and everything uh, like like the career that you guys have like had and you've gone like that right like there's no way that you could have done that back home in europe i think like it would have been like a little bit at a time and like well, it's the same with you right yeah all in the same yeah boat. yeah yeah exactly so like uh i like it here a lot better and 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 uh, uh i really can't see myself moving home after being here for so long now how does it feel to be there when you're there does it still feel like home or does it feel like a home away from home it it feels like home but like home that i visit like i could i like i could never move back again and and like uh, feel that that's like home and where i live again i mean it's just i'm 35 almost 36 now so i've lived uh, more than half my my life here so uh, yeah like like it's just a completely different feeling over there tell us a little bit about let's go back to the whole like you grew up in sweden you played hockey then you came over to the us you played here obviously uh, in the nhl you won the world championship i think actually in germany right yeah in cologne in, in our cologne. hometown yes <laughs> yes the beer tasted good it was yeah. very cold perfect <laughs> See, that's yes <laughs> that's the that's yeah. cologne sharks arena that we used to go yeah to. um so kind of walk us through that because, I mean, obviously the athlete side, there's a lot of, you know, athletes that end up going into a business and, and doing really well. Um, you know, a lot of it is probably mindset and knowing how to, like, push through. So tell us a little bit about your career and your ups and downs and, and you know, your mindset and, and, you know, just walk us a little bit through that. And then kind of how you take that into how you've taken that on the, on the business side as well. Yeah, I think, like, growing up – I was never like the best player on my team. Like I was one of the best players, but I wasn't the guy that everyone was talk talking about. Like this guy is going to play in the NHL and this guy is going to play in the national team and everything. Uh, and I think that, that was good for me because I was never like the guy. I always had to work harder to like keep up with those top guys. And, 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 uh even like when i was 18 i didn't get drafted like a bunch of my friends got drafted and everything and uh that was never really like an issue for me because i always just looked at what i had to do like that day or that week to just get like a little bit better and i knew that if i kept doing the right things over and over again that 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 like my luck and my time was going to come right and that's kind of the same mentality that I take into real estate now as well. I mean, you're going to have ups and downs. You're going to lose listings and lose clients uh, or or just, just fall out of escrows and everything. But I know that if I keep doing the little things right during a longer period of time, that, that I am going to see results, right? And, and... I just know that I can do whatever I put my mind to. And that's kind of what hockey taught me, I feel like. So how do you deal with uh, setbacks or failures? And again, trying to make the parallel. Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> more now or more when you played hockey? 
more uh, That's close. more now but 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 yeah like i'm i'm allowed to feel sorry for myself for like the rest of the day but when i wait wake up the next day it's just like full focus on the next thing and what i can like do and 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 uh, that mentality served me well in hockey too because you can't really get too high or too low like uh, you 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 can't be too happy after a win and you, and you can't be too sad after a loss and that that is kind of like the same mentality that i take into this i think so describe <laughs> describe how you felt or what your memory was when you met patrick and i the first time <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the first time so so we we met through a lender in town um, and I think this was like two and a half years ago, maybe like two and a half, three years ago. And like you guys were good, but you kind of just like started to get traction with everything that you're do doing. Right. And like <laughs> when I first walked in, I'm like, who the hell are these two German guys? Like, and Max is like, we're going to take over the world. We're going to win everything. Like, everything is ours. And Patrick is he's like, yeah, you know, this sounds good to me, Max. Let's, <laughs> Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> like, <laughs> still the same. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's still Slightly same. exaggerated, just for the record. <laughs> oh. But, but, like, now you're at this point where, like, you've proven that, like, you have t taken over and you've done a lot of this stuff that, that, like, then you were, you were talking about doing, but now you guys are, like, actually doing it, right? And now we can be friends finally. Yes, <laughs> yes. No, it's but, like, years. <laughs> the, uh, the first, um, the first time, I met you, I was like, oh my God, Max, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to have to breathe. He's so much. And I don't know if I can handle this on a day-to-day -day basis. But like, now I'm like, when I don't see you for a few days, I'm like, oh, I need my Max fix. Like, can you just call me back? Like, what the hell is going on? Like, and like, you and I see each other more, I think, because we spent a little bit more time at the office and everything, but, 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 but yeah. You have a really nice office, Eddie. <laughs> you and I, <laughs> our office. <laughs> it's like adverse possession at some point is going to be his because he's there all the time. I am soon going to bring in my own personal photos and put in the office <laughs> just to kind of mark, mark my territory a little bit, you know? It probably works. It's kind of like that girl, girlfriend that, that like you, you just started dating and she brings a toothbrush all over your place and everything. Like, this is what I'm going to do with your office. I'm That's okay. You can move in. You already moved in anyways. You already moved in anyways. A little bit at a time. I'm just going to plant seeds. Like my my family photos is going to be there. And then I'm going to bring like my own like blanket for the cold nights when I stay late. Or, a little yeah. pillow when you take your power naps. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. You need the power. Oh, power yeah. napping. Oh, yeah. We're, we're good at the po oh, power, have to. power naps. But a lot of times we just end up browsing instagram for f for 10, <laughs> 10 or so minutes research. but research. yeah 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 it's yeah research. like yeah the double click it works good <laughs> yeah um so one thing is that you do too that we do you know which is part of too right when we first met you know because people associate us because a we're europeans right so they're like oh you guys are both europeans to so them that's all the same thing right like it's it's all like the same nationality almost, right? So that was one thing. The other thing is you also do invest in real estate yourself. You do some flips. You have some Airbnbs. You have some rent. Like you, you're you you're on both sides of the, yeah. the medallion in this case. Like you're not just the agent, but you're also a client, basically, you know, your own client. Yeah. Um, yeah. How did you get started with that stuff? What are you doing in that space right now? Um, like kind of fill everybody in a little bit on what you're doing. So we have a few Airbnbs. We have a new one come coming now, right, right next to Scottsdale sta Stadium. That's uh, just a couple of weeks from being ready. Um, I start. We bought our first Airbnb um, just before I had my license. Uh, and uh, how long has that? How long have you been licensed for now? Four and a, four and a half years, I think. Yeah. 
um, and I had my hip surgery in Jersey and me and my wife, we were just like bored in the hotel room and we started wa wa watching this show on Netflix. It's called uh, Stay Away or Stay Here, I think it's called. It's like a Airbnb show oh, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in oh, yeah. uh, Australia, I think. Yeah. And we're like, oh my God, this is amazing. We're gonna do our own Airbnb, and 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 like it's gonna be so easy. Disclaimer: It wasn't as easy as TV showed it, but like, it's been good for my business because I've like made the mistakes myself. So, so, and I learned from them. So clients come in, and I actually know what I'm what I'm taught what I'm talking about, right? Cause I've gone through it my, myself and, and, uh, same with the flips and everything. I mean, I like tell my clients too, all the time. It's like when I flip for a client, they like make like a million, two million. And then whenever I flip for myself, it's like a hundred grand, like 50 grand. And I'm like, Oh my God. Like, so, uh, I like learn from my own mistakes and like no one else, paid for him which, which like uh, I appreciate because I'm such a people pleaser too that like I mean I I couldn't stand it if I lost anyone money I mean it would be like the end of me <laughs> <laughs> so how many projects do you have uh, going right now and is there anything because we get the question a lot and I think you do the same what can you recommend someone watching this who wants to get started in general in the real estate world or transition out of uh, being an athlete into retirement and starting starting a new career? Do you mean more in in investing or more as like an agent? I think I think in general, since you yeah. since you do both, right? yeah. we started on the investment side and then added the agent side um, onto it. So yeah. maybe just give us a little bit more insight there. Uh, at, on the investment side, uh, I think it's pretty obvious now, but I don't see that much uh, opportunity in the Airbnb space and everything. Uh, I I like my new house that's coming up because it's got a really good location and we did the remodel to make it exactly the way that we want to, to kind of st stick out compared to everyone else. Um, but... Um, at eight or nine percent mortgage on an Airbnb, and then a twenty-five percent management fee. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of juice left. <laughs> so, like, uh, that's kind of what I'm dealing with with my guys now. I mean, unless you're paying for it in cash, or unless you're self managing it, uh, the spread doesn't really make make sense uh, for a. A flip or spec house and everything uh, there there's obviously as you guys know there there's still good opportunity in paradise valley uh, and 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 uh, the bigger parts of scottsdale i like still still feel like there's room to grow there um and and uh that's something that i look up to you guys would like to with the big specs that you guys are doing like mine uh, have been so 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 far on a little smaller level than what you guys are doing but 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 yeah like you guys are are motivating me and that's where i want to go so so that leads to my my next question uh, what what made you decide to to work with us because i remember it it took a while and initially um, when we met it was pretty organic and there was uh, I think neither from your side nor from our side. We were like, okay, uh, you know, we have to work together. I think it was a genuine connection from the beginning, and then yeah. it kind of evolved to the point where, you know, we kind of said maybe maybe we should, uh, you know, get this European footprint a little bit bigger here in Scottsdale. Yeah, I mean, you paid for a few rounds of golf that helped to, you know, to make the switch. <laughs> 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 some lunches <laughs> yes some lunches you know you know i kind of wanted to drag it out because once i switched i haven't got a lunch since so i wanted to kind of <laughs> drag that out You're a still little paying bit off that tab at <laughs> Ranch, <man. laughs> all the transfusions <laughs> oh my god 
But no, uh, I think from my side, uh, I kind of wanted to just like get to know you guys better and like create a friendship first and 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 I knew with us that it was always going to be friendship first and I thought that that was the most important thing and I didn't want to mix that up with business too soon you know and so that's why I took my time a little bit I think but 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 yeah yeah Let's get into the juicy stuff. Tell us. <laughs> I want to know the craziest hockey story, and then we want to have the craziest that you can disclose. <laughs> that you can disclose. No need to mention any names. Um, and then the craziest uh, real estate uh, story could be positive or negative. Because um, it, it can't be you squaring on live television than your hockey chair because I saw that. I know hockey hockey days are wild, so um I mean I have a lot of crazy hockey stories. I'm not sure exactly how many I can say. <laughs> uh, the best ones you probably can't say. My best ones I probably can't say. Uh, my rookie party was pr was pretty wild. Um, we were in Nashville, um, and and uh, we had an early game in Carolina, and then we flew to Nashville. So like everyone was already kind of like liquored up on like the plane and everything, right? And 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 uh, my first thing. on the team uh, he sat down next to me and he ordered a bottle of louis 13 which is like what like five six grand per <laughs> bottle and uh, and 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 he uh, um, poured a little shot for me in a glass and like i mean that nice of alcohol you 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 like should sip it you shouldn't shoot it right and then he poured a water glass for himself and filled it to the brim and 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 he said welcome to the show thanks for picking up this tab bitch and then we both <laughs> took it and like he like he like swallowed the whole thing and like he 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 was like yeah you know this is like 200 bucks a shot And like he poured a glass like that, so I'm like, oh, that's a thousand bucks going down. But yeah, and then he got a little bit too drunk that night, so he got ki kicked out of uh, Tootsie's, and and uh, our other teammate uh, Tom Sestito paid the bouncers two thousand bucks to get him back into the bar. And he is like, oh, yeah, he's going to behave. He's going to be all fine and everything. Took like two minutes and then he was back on the street again. <laughs> like, Yeah. So my my part of that bill was like 12 grand, I think. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Which, which, so your first year's salary was gone? So my first, <laughs> that, that two weeks was almost gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 My craziest real, real estate sto story, it's, it, it, it's on a house that you have sold. Uh, you're not on the other part of that transaction, but uh, long story short, um, we go to the closing table and I represent the buyer and we find out that... Uh, Uh, the seller has a wife uh, <laughs> that uh, that according to him was 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 was, was, was not a legal marriage because it happened on a beach somewhere in a country <laughs> that it's not legal but she was she 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 was uh, 
she signed for the property when they bought it. So like, uh, and we go to confront him about it. And he's like, well, I'm not talking to this, this girl anymore. And we're like, okay, well, you're going to have to talk to her now because like we need her well, to sign. Yeah. Right. Uh, sign, right. Uh, and, and, uh, um, he's like, no, like I don't even have phone number anymore. Oh and then God, it turned from like that to, um, <laughs> to, to, uh, I have her phone number, but she's a great, 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 crazy bitch and uh, I don't want to deal with her anymore and we're like okay so then uh, our lawyer Joe step step stepped in and he he was like well like you're either gonna have to get her signature or like we're gonna sue you because like this property <laughs> since si since you've been going through this the property's gone up like 300 grand in value so um <laughs> And he refused, so I found the uh, the an email to this wife <laughs> through the other title company. I think you helped me with that, uh, and and we got in contact with her and 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 gave her some money on the side to to oh, no, no 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 <laughs> no not mon money on the site the seller had to pay her out I'm uh, just making sure we're compliant <laughs> yes sorry joe <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, uh, and we closed i think like two months later but uh, wasn't but yeah she, wasn't she in the middle east too she she was when they got married but now she was in a very close country to here oh, uh, okay. with 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 a child of his uh, and yeah there's some scummy people out there in the world <laughs> yeah there's lots of uh, like real estate looks a lot easier on tv than it is in real person <laughs> yeah um what are like the next things on the on the real estate side like your next goals next you know like what's what's coming up on the on the Eddie Lark real estate show i think my next goal is to do more more developments like I'm going to try to prove myself that I can be both Max and Patrick in one. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You need about yeah. 29 hours a day. I finally feel like I'm at a place now where I feel more comfortable with it uh, and and I've uh, done enough deals to prove myself I feel like so uh, and we've been having more conversations about that even with clients of yours and yeah you know, I think we're, yeah. we're getting there yeah 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 like the first time that I was gonna have one of those meetings I asked Max to sit in and I was all like nervous and everything. And I'm like, Max, you want to meet before to go over? Like, <laughs> he's like, no, 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 we're all fine. I'm like, okay, well, like, can we at least meet like 10 minutes before and just talk about it a little bit? And he, he, Max was like, I got it, bro. And he <laughs> rolled in in his car like, thir like, 30 seconds before the meeting and he's like bro i do this for a living and he just winged it for like an hour like numbers 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 and my head was just spinning and like he was like oh, dude 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 i told you i got you <laughs> and i was like i told you listen to this three times yeah. you do it on your own you don't need us anymore yeah yeah that's what i'm trying to do now <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's the same as sports we talked about it earlier it's like once you do it so many times it becomes like you know natural like you don't even think about it. you just do it and do it so yeah. i think i think real estate is it's all about the connections the people you know yeah and you know which then reflects what properties you know about what deals you know about but the actual of doing it it's it's really people like Joe and other people that, you know, they're a lot smarter than all three of us together yeah. that then step in and, you know, help you figure it out. I think it's really like, just, you know, like Max said in the other uh, podcast, like you just got to do it, like you got to get out there, do it, yeah. um, which you've been obviously doing and, you know, successfully. Uh, collaboration there. Yeah. Like we do a few deals here and there, but like, a development 
would be fun, I think. So, yeah. Then we can go to the projects together in the morning. There you go. You yeah. and I. Hey. <laughs> Take a nap there. Yeah. <laughs> With the other guys at yeah. 11 a.m.? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? Um, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of conversations about uh, interest rates, you know, um, potentially uh, adjusting themselves down, which they have a little bit over the last weeks. However, it's still highly volatile. Uh, we have elections coming up. What do you think um, outlook is for for the upcoming year? Um, and again, uh, is there any any advice you would like to give someone specifically, whether it's a buyer or seller or someone someone in the industry? Um, drop some. Buy my listings. <laughs> 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 the number one advice. <laughs> and pay full price. <laughs> yes. Yes. Full price. Um, I. I think that this this year was challenging for a lot of people in our industry, in the mortgage industry, and everything. Uh, I I think that uh, next year I I do believe that the interest rates are going to come down. Uh, I I believe that we're going to have um, a lot more volume that, than what we're currently having, um, but. I don't think we're going to go back to like 2020, 2021, 2022, first half uh, kind of numbers. But uh, I do think that if we eventually here start seeing interest rates in the mid fives, high fives, I do think we're going to see a lot more people that are locked in with their 3% being tired of living in their homes. And I think that they're going to start venturing out and selling and buying again. But uh, soon as, as long as it, it's over six, I think that's going to be tough. That's my professional opinion. <laughs> Finally, something professional here. <laughs> <laughs> And I wonder why people don't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but they like you and it still works. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it works. Uh, let's talk a little bit, because we have here one more thing, like obviously like a little bit outside of just work. Uh, When are we going to sign the paperwork for your uh, son to marry my daughter? That's about, about probably, what, 16 years old at least? Like yeah. a pre-arranged marriage. Uh, yeah, we can arrange it. We can, we can, we can. Several yeah. other contenders I might, I might have witnessed. Uh, I have seen Leo on Instagram and like he has he has part of my French he's hold himself out a little bit so like <laughs> I, I I'm not sure that he's good enough for my feet feet fee fee anymore but uh, he's, yeah he's young he's single he's good looking you know what would, what would you do <laughs> yeah, play the field a little bit yeah well Sophia wants five percent of your new house <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be on title <laughs> Um, yeah, let's talk about that actually a little bit because obviously, like we, you know, you're in the same boat. You're dead uh, two two now. Um, how has that changed your life, both personally and business? Because I, I talked about it recently, and I, I think to me, it just did only good. So, what are your thoughts? And
it, and like nothing can deviate in his day, right? But Max called me like like a few months months ago. He's like, yeah, you know, like I don't know when that it's gonna happen. Like it might be like five years down down <laughs> down like the road. <laughs> But I want kids eventually, right? How much does kids cost to make? Because I want to budget this now. <laughs> he, he asked us the same question. He asked. I had to ask the two people I always trust. He was like, yeah, you know, is it five grand a month, six, six grand? I'm like, no, it's not that it's much, man. It's that fine. Much. Like, no. yeah, I yeah. was just going based off the blueberry consumption from Leo, you know? Yeah, is, that's uh, a big yes, ticket item. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Organic yes. berries, that's yes. a yes. big ticket yes. item. Yes. Uh, but what I do in my free time, uh, I love to play golf. Uh, and you're pretty good at it. Some some days, uh, yeah. <laughs> for the record, uh, uh, Eddie is a scratch player for the non-golfers. That means it's pretty much as as good as you can get. We actually have a game on Friday, and and I have not. Hats on now, and I can be better than like ninety nine percent of like the goalies out there. Not not in the NHL, but on the hobby level. And we have a big match on Friday where obviously these two team up because like they can't be more than two feet away from each other. <laughs> two and a half maybe. <laughs> but you will be off the tee. <laughs> Because Max will be far right and Patrick will be, be down be the middle. Surprised. Make sure you get a diaper for Isaac. <laughs> but but they stuck me with Isaac and like every time the me and Isaac has played together, I don't think he has shot in the in the in the two digits yet. It's always been over a hundred. So the negotiation of strokes is gonna be very very funny on the first tee because because I'm gonna ask for a lot. So I like to golf. Uh, I like to, when I get invited, go to um, the Suns games, uh, but I'm going to be outside the stadium t today when I drop them off. That's it's fun. the same sensation we have with hockey games. Yeah, so it's yeah. It's just fair, you know? Uh, and, uh, yeah, other than that, like, love, love to take our families on dinners and lunches and everything, play dates. Um, yeah. Just like uh, fun fa family time, I guess. Good, so, yeah. good session at Lifetime every now and then, too. I love our sessions at Lifetime, uh, even though you have canceled on me a lot lately. Oh, you, you still do the Old Town Pump Saturday, right? No. As you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Just the spa. Yeah. Spa membership. Yeah, 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 yeah spa. But... Um, yeah, the old time pump on Saturday. I'm looking forward to getting back to that. Um, but I don't have a gym in my house, so I have to go to Lifetime, unfortunately, when I'm that's, not invited. That's okay. We have a membership there, too. We'll join you. <laughs> <laughs> but I also that you're an avid gamer. Is that, is that true? I saw one of not anymore. Like, you quit? Yeah. You so my, my, my daughter was uh, born, and, uh, and I... Uh, played a lot of video games b before that and and it was a lot of Fortnite, NHL like I was not very good but I was kind of like a nerd because I was having fun right uh, and uh, it was like a few days after my daughter was born and I put the Xbox on and my wife came over and like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> this is your past life and I have not put put the video game on since and she's three in january so so yeah uh, i i would love to game but i really don't have time anymore yeah it's a dangerous like <laughs> yeah like we spent some some weeks in and out 24 hours a day for a while like it's 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 we played a call of duty pretty much yeah uh, like non-stop like you fall asleep with the controller who was like, the better player max pretty good two. max pretty good uh 
But I mean, I mean, we played like online, whatever. So you always like, kind of the yeah. same team. Like he was always almost more like. Oh this. no, you guys same team? <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise! But uh, I was always like the the sniper guy, the sniper guy, and he's the guy that just runs around like a crazy person. It's so, pretty so much so the same. same. It's pretty yeah. much the same. So yes. Pretty good though. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, we haven't played in a long time either. I, I know during COVID, we actually bought a, a PlayStation for the office. And we turned it off one time. We said we can't do it, so we sold it. I don't know. If I think we Dude, sold it to Steve. It Summit. was so complicated to put this thing on. We thought the world's gone down, so we went to Best Buy and picked this thing up. And <laughs> went into the office, and there was nobody. And then we started this thing. You had to get uh, registered at Activision Network, and there was like six so much gigabyte. work. We're like I mean, fuck this. So much work. And then we were like, well, the world is probably not going to go down. So maybe now instead of just trying to be the best gamer in the world, which is too complicated anyways, let's just go back to work and put in the work while nobody else did. So which we was sold probably it. Good decision. We sold it and probably used it about seven minutes, <laughs> which is probably good. You guys probably could have made a lot of money then too. I mean, like Alan would have been there to help you guys like stream it and everything. Oh like, maybe. yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, one day we're going to have our kids being old enough that they want to play with us, so then we have an excuse. Yeah. Uh, actually, that's I mean, M and P streaming? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hey, you put that on the list for 2024. Did uh, you guys talk about yet, like, why the M is first? It's like before uh, the P? M and O P, just the alphabetic order. Oh. And then also something, you know. It, so he tricked you into that? If it's he sold you on it? I actually, he I is actually, a good salesman. I actually made the logo. Like, when we first started, I actually drew up the first, very first logo. Right, yeah. and uh, and it just that's just what it was. I don't know. Very very random. Yeah. Random. Yeah, like the first time I go off with these guys, it's like Max pull, pull, pulling up. He's got like <laughs> America flags on like all his wedges, like golf bag, like car. Then like America won, flag, it's a write -off, flag man. everywhere. <laughs> It's yeah. a write-off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Like, like when you guys got into America One and the actual bro bro brokerage and everything, did you guys just like Google America brokerages Arizona and you guys are like, oh, all right, we're gonna pick one of them? No, it was, it, kind of yes and no. We knew we wanted to do real estate, so we worked with some business brokers to find some. Something in the real estate After space. After we looked into uh, donut shops. Did you guys start with shop. America One? Yeah. Well, we, we when we started, it was a property management company that didn't yeah. do resale. Yeah. And then we rebranded it. We did new website, new logos. Every, like, it wasn't doing really business. It was but that was your first bro bro yeah. brokerage? You, you, like, didn't start anywhere else? Like. Well, we didn't. When we bought the know, brokerage that has been around since you and I have been around 1988. Yeah. Um, Good we, year. We didn't have a license when we bought the brokerage because you can own a brokerage without having a license yeah i'm i'm licensed i've been licensed since 2019 just like you yeah and patrick 2018 so we bought america one in 2017 <laughs> yeah. pretty random okay one more game to finish okay alan what do you got all right here we go come back out here we go got a board got a board it's like laugh. in school there we go. Hold up. There's your marker. All right. Let's go. This game is called... It's called... This or That. So you pick one or the other. You know this game. It's Max or Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> so do All we right. do one or two, or what do we do here? I mean, you can just put, like, I'll say a phrase. I mean, I'll, I'll say a statement, and then you pick one or the other. Okay. So. Max or Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> we won't do that one. Um, a hundred thousand dollars right now, or flip a coin for a million dollars. This or that, right? <laughs> you gotta pick which one do you, which, what's that? The, what's the, so you oh, flip the, the coin. Coin. second one? So yeah, flip a coin? Yeah, yeah. Flip the coin. Flip the coin, yeah. okay. You guys have no confidence in your work. Lucky lack. <laughs> so yeah, take the hundred grand and make it a million. <laughs> Lucky Double. lack, you'll see my my golf game. <laughs> it's based on luck. Okay. Go back in time to fix your biggest mistake or look into the future to find out where you end up. Go back in time to fix your biggest mistake or look into the future to find where you end up. 
Three, two, one. Future. Future. Bro, it's this or that. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Fu fu future. Game. I don't and look back. I don't look back. No, right. who cares? No. no, who cares? Yeah. I don't know if you guys watched, but I was doing some research on, on Eddie. But Seinfeld or Friends? Oh yeah, that's an obvious. Oh, obvious. Very obvious. Two, three, two, one. Suits. 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 Oh my god, Wait, you is... you would love it, Harvey Specter. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you see Harvey, oh, like he got that deal friends, done. Friends yeah. Friends. yeah, yeah, friends. Yeah. Friends. I mean, like such a classic. Oh, I mean, I know pretty like, much almost every episode. Yeah, I think. Yeah. If you'd show me like a ten second ep Same. piece, like best character probably... on Friends, or they all good in different. Re they all have like their, you know. Joey, I would say Joey. is my favorite, but like R.I.P. Chandler Bing, yeah. That's what I'm saying. They're all good for the, yeah. for different reasons. Yeah. Like it's hard to pick one. None of those. I like the guys better than the girls. Put it that way. Who would you say that you're more like? I probably more like the Chandler. I would say I'm 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 more like Ross. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I like the guys better than the girls. Max, who are you? Who are you in Suits? <laughs> What's the character in Harvey Specter? Louis Lip. Shocker. Louis Lip. Louis Lip. <laughs> <Louis Lynn. laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> so I just learned that there's an eraser on here. I've been sitting with my fingers <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, next one. Hit a hole in one or score a double eagle? Hole in one or double eagle? Three, two, one. Double eagle. What is this one? How many hole in oh, ones hole do you in have? One? Three. Hole in one. Prick. That's usually what it is. If you haven't, like, if you haven't had a hole in what, uh, hole in one. Listen, my mom had six. Okay, six hole in ones. Six. I don't have a single one. So. It's usually if you haven't had one, that's what you pick. But once you had one, then the next thing you. So can your work. mom's a better golfer than you. Obviously. Dude, she does it for a living. This is around the golf with Max. Okay, you like, show up. He's all pumped. What's the course record? Where's the first tee? And it comes to hole two. He like throws his club, and then he's like, "Oh, this Paradise Va Valley deal. All right, guys, I'll catch you at the bar after. I'll catch you at the bar after." And and like then he's basically on the phone the entire time. Oh yeah, boys, this off market. I just made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, I just got it. Got it. I'm like, very clear, okay. and I'm like, okay, the, Max, just, just, just like give me the hundred bucks you the, owe me. The, the helicopter comes out very rarely, and last time I lost a lot of money because of you. Actually, probably the most money I ever lost on the fucking golf course. At the same time, I had the biggest tap probably Ganey Ranch has ever seen in the span of two hours with I don't know how many transfusions and what else we had, but we still closed some deals, so that's fine. Me and Max played like a a <laughs> tournament together, and and neither of us, mostly me, I played like absolute gar gar garbage. But it was a twenty seven times two, so so like twenty seven holes a day, and we were out of it after like nine, so we started <laughs> drinking, <laughs> and and oh, we actually had a lot of fun. The final. It, it, it was a mess. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. The bar card girl loved us, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure she did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just money flying out of our pockets. Yeah. Left and right. Yeah. All right, we'll the next one here. <clears throat> Netflix or HBO Max? Well, it's called Max now. But... <coughs> Three, two, one. HBO? Netflix, HBO? Netflix. What are you watching, HBO? I don't even have Netflix anymore. Uh, I don't even know what we watch on HBO. Like, I don't watch that much t TV anymore. Like, the only thing that I am forced to watch is like some of the housewives, which I like, like kind of, kind of like fall asleep to. And then it's 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 ninety day fiance i swear oh. tlc puts the weirdest people in the world on their show <laughs> like like there's not one normal person on the tlc show i would fit right in <laughs> it'd be amazing like the first real estate show on tlc like it would be me <laughs> it's your show you run it right. we'll go to the next one here wedge or putter
Three, two, one. Putter, putter, all putters. Because yeah, you all can't chip. <laughs> were, were you thinking about how to spell putter? I'm a putter? Texas wedge. That's why you put a P on it. <laughs> it's two T's. No, it's because I like P more than you. <laughs> it's okay. This is morally for Eddie, but you guys can answer too. Wayne Gretzky or Mario Lemieux? They don't even know these people. Of course. Of course. Of course. Because the daughter from Gretzky is married to Dustin Johnson. That's why we know. Okay, what, what number did Wayne Gretzky wear in hockey? Was he with the Penguins? Penguins? No. Oilers, Oilers. He played no. for Oilers. What number? Number oh. on his jersey. 25. His jersey. Is it a big one? Like 99 or something? Uh, yeah. Uh, he yeah. looked it up when he asked. No, I swear I didn't know. And Mario is the opposite. Mario is 66. So, so uh, I have a good story with that. Because uh, uh, Mario's son played for ASU uh, uh, when I was a co coach there. And one um, day, the equipment guy... Um, it was like just before the game and he got a text message um, and and he was like, who is this from? And it just said, I'm here. And he's like, what do you mean? And then he saw Pittsburgh area code and like the phone number was like six, 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 six. Oh, oh Mario's here. <laughs> this is actual number? Six, six. I mean, there's like mostly sixes in there. I don't think Ooh. it's all sixes, but yeah. Dang. Okay. Well, you guys didn't pick one. Is it, Mario, is it yeah. Gretzky or Lemieux? I mean, Gretzky, I, mean, I think is the more f famous one. I mean, like, he is still the GOAT. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, Ma Mario, if he didn't have his injuries and the cancer and everything, like, I, he may have caught... Gretzky. I mean, that's how good he was. But yeah, let's say Wayne. Yeah. No. This is like the Christmas portion here. So, a real tree or an artificial tree? Which one are you putting up, or which one do you prefer? This or that. We are all gonna be plastic trees. Come on, guys. Like, no one has time to like. The thing is, in, in, yes. Europe, in Europe, though, it's not a thing. There's no plastic trees. Yes, I know, but we're not there now. But uh. here, here, <laughs> we all have pla pla plastic. I know he's all about the business, and I know you're not <laughs> cleaning up that, 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 like, scraps that go on the floor. Like, yeah, we're, we're all plastic. Yeah. Um... Hosting Christmas or visiting others? Three, two. Oh, it's a long answer from Max. We'll wait from three, two, one. Visiting. Well, well, well. He still hasn't committed to my Christmas yet, so you get on him. Visiting Eddie. There we go. Is that good? Yeah, but you haven't committed yet. We gotta play the options here. Yeah. I gotta see what else comes in. He's like, oh yeah, we got a lot of other parties. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, nice. Check the menu, see what you know what's being served, Meat what balls, drinks are included as an Prince open bar. Prince Carve, like. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's an open bar. All Don't right, worry about that. Right, Cigars. Yeah. yeah. Done. Sam Jandel lived like like <laughs> right across, right. so we can throw <laughs> eggs at his house. <laughs> you can actually see all the wall. Yeah. <laughs> you can probably just watch it from yeah <laughs> from his house. Yeah. All right. Christmas away or Christmas at home? So like, you go somewhere else for for Christmas for staying here. Oh. Like Christmas vacation or Christmas at home? Three, two, one. Arizona away. Home, home. Why would you want to go anywhere else with this weather? Because it's white Christmas. So oh my God. <laughs> now I see why your wife fell in love with you. I just grew up going You're to so Austria romantic. every year. You're so uh, romantic. All right. Christmas music or Christmas movies? Christmas music or Christmas movies? Three, two, one. Music. Music and music. music. No, we like Christmas movies. So. Yeah, no, I, mean, I love Christmas there's, there's, movies. There's I fall a few asleep good all movies, the time. but man, yeah. no time. Okay. I have not lasted through a movie in like three years. <laughs> <laughs> all right, not 
last couple of ones here, eggnog or hot chocolate? Or if you want cider, that's another option. I know people have cider. Like cider? Okay. Leave it. Eggnog, hot, hot chocolate, just use those. Three, three, four. Whoever has a blue. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can. <laughs> so, um, All right, you might not, might or might not like this one. Favorite Christmas movie, um, Elf or Home Alone, or put whatever ones you guys like. But I put Elf, Home Alone. Those are the kind of iconic ones. Or there's other ones you guys watch as a, a kid. Longer because of the spelling. I'm good. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Home Alone, Home Alone. Pets. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. That is end of this or that. Two Thanks, four. Alan. All right, well, uh, Eddie, thank you for, uh, for coming to the podcast. Uh, we, we had a lot of fun. And I think that's probably a good, uh, good occasion to uh, to thank you for your friendship and uh, for the relationship that we have. It's uh, it's truly special, uh, not only in European extension, but uh, uh, we appreciate you a lot, man. And. Uh, this you do the same. See? You do yeah. the same. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. So yeah. I appreciate you guys both in life in real estate uh, and uh, I will me and Isaac will kick your ass on Friday. <laughs> that sounds very optimistic. <laughs> yeah. uh, and for everyone uh, else uh, maybe Eddie tell us how can uh, how can people find you on social? I am at Eddie Lack 31 on Insta 31 on Instagram I think at Eddie Lack on Twitter. Um uh, if you want to email me and uh, complain about this episode, it's uh, Patrick at America <laughs> <laughs> um, Email Eddie at EddieLack.com. And uh, yeah, I'm on YouTube, but not as good as you guys. So I'm going to leave that one out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tag it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah subscribe. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, perfect uh, You know, finish to this episode. Make sure to like, subscribe again. Um, we put all Eddie's contact information in the description below. I mean, uh, Alan will do that. Uh, Max, I don't know how. <laughs> but uh, so that's all going to be there. Um, and then from uh, all three of us and everybody at America One, we want to wish all of you a uh, Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a successful New Year. Happy, healthy, and everything. By the way, is the real estate market down so much we're not having a Christmas party? It's tight right now. Okay. It's tight. Yeah, okay. You already got Fiji water. You can take that home if you want. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do our Christmas party next week, Friday. Don't forget your wallet. So with that, thanks, guys. And uh, until the next show. Am I going to be on it? <laughs> <laughs>